What up, Sci-Fly? Uh, today's video is gonna be about how to make decals. Like these. Oh, it's not gonna show up very well. Oh, yeah, well, there we go. Anyway, yeah, how to make these. Uh, you're gonna need three pieces of software, well, two pieces of software and a plugin. You're gonna need Blender, and you're gonna need GIMP, and you're gonna need a plugin for GIMP for generating normal maps. All of which I will have linked in the description. So in Blender, you're gonna start with the default cube, hit A, delete. Then you wanna go to Add Mesh Plane. By the way, to get this little panel out, you can hit N, oops, sorry, hit N on your keyboard, or you can hit this little arrow right here, either way. <clears throat> so after you bring in your plane, Make sure you have it selected and you're gonna to wanna to rotate it on the uh, X axis 90 degrees. And then you're gonna to wanna to go up to the Y axis or the Y location. And you're gonna to wanna to give it a negative value of negative 0.001. There we go. Just needs to be the tiniest little amount. Uh, that's so that it doesn't clip when you, uh, the texture doesn't clip when you put it onto the wall or whatever flat surface you put it on. Uh, so there's that, and then you're gonna go object, set origin, uh, origin to 3D cursor, there you go. That puts the origin back into the center of the world there. Then you wanna go file, export, FBX. From here, you wanna choose your download location. There we go, I've already done this a couple times, but I'll name it something unique. Decal three unique so you, to set this up it's real easy mesh and then I always select uh, selected objects that's only selected objects will be exported and then just I turn that off just out of habit I don't think you have to uh, and then you hit export now we'll come on over here into game guru max hit add import 3d model go to your uh, export location there it is decal 3 open it's gonna come in real tiny if you want a uh, tutorial to uh, how you get things in in the proper size I will link a video from monkey frog studios uh, he does a great job of explaining how to set that up but that's a lot more than I want to get into right now this is just to get some basic uh, decals in I don't think they need to be a perfect proper size unless you need them to be but uh, anyway, so you go to Customize, Meters. That's what Blender uses. Then you go to uh, No Collision, and uh, let's go ahead and name it something unique. In this case, I'll name it Mold 3, because I think I already have two other molds. And then we'll go to Materials. Go ahead and leave it on Silent. We want it to have a little bit of glossiness. You're gonna wanna set it to Transparent and Double-Sided. And then bring in your albedo, go to wherever your uh, textures are at. In this case, I'm gonna use this one, and here's where GIMP comes in. So before I bring it in, I go open with GIMP. There it is. And Blender likes it, or not Blender, but uh, Game Guru likes it when you have nice square uh, images for your textures. Plus, you want your texture to kind of uh, match the shape of the uh, of the model anyway so you go to image canvas size and then I just copy the biggest number I know it's low resolution but this is just for demonstration purposes copy the bigger number to the lower number or to the smaller number so that they're nice and even hit resize center resize and there we go nice square image now you can export it file export in this case I want to call it I want to call it underscore albedo export export now to make a uh, normal map I go color hue chroma drop the hue and the chroma and we've got a grayscale image uh, hit OK and then filter map and here's where you're gonna need the uh, plugin normal map um, I've already got it set to 2 normally it'd be set to 1 and then I like to check out the um, 3D preview 
There we go. So you can you can see what it looks like now. And when I change it to two, just give it a little bit more depth. Hit OK. File. Export. Change this to normal. OK or export. Export. OK. Come back into here and there they are. So go ahead and open your albedo and your normal. And I know it's clipping through the floor right now, but that's okay. If you wanna check and make sure what it looks like, you can come over here and raise it up a little bit and look. It looks fine. Uh, but make sure you put this back to zero. Uh, so materials, they're all good. Name, good, customize. I always double check all this. I've mis made the mistake of forgetting stuff many, many times. Uh, now import. go give yourself a nice thumbnail that'll work add bring this on down oh, yeah that'll work see there you go uh, so you'll notice it still clips through the ground it'll go <clears throat> it'll go against stuff but one more thing you can do go to where you exported the uh, or saved your model or your uh, your DBO and your FPE and in this case just in the uh, user the default user folder and then you want to open your FPE file um, if you, I'm using notepla notepads uh, or excuse me notepad notepad plus plus I can't talk today uh, but you could just use a regular uh, text editor then you want to come down here to identity details you can just delete all that and type in forward facing equals one just like that hit save hey it's me from the future uh i just realized while editing this that i forgot to mention that uh to save space on your hard drive you don't have to have a model for or a dbo for every single one of your decals you can just have one for every shape that you want. For example, we just made the two by two uh, flat surface. So if you just wanted to rename that DBO after you export it from Game Guru, um, just rename the DBO to something like decal two by two. And then if you go into the FPE right here at the top, you'll see where it says model and then the model name dot dbo if you just change that model name to match the dbo then in all of your uh decals that use that same shape then all of them can share one uh model i only use three myself i have a two by two and then i have a one by two vertical and a one by two horizontal that's it so far so yeah i just wanted to mention that you can close that now and now it won't show until I leave and come back, I believe. So no, just reopen it. Add. There we go. You can see now it's it's uh, always going to go flat on the surface you put it on, even on the ground. So like if you wanted to make like a puddle or something like that, that's how you would get it to uh, to do that. So yeah, there you go. Kind of gross looking little. Uh, texture and after you lay it down obviously then you can come over here up here you can scale it down do whatever you can see I've got some more textures or decals right here I've made blood and mold and, and X and yeah just like that that's how you do it anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one